How to make text wrap around an image. Uh, quite often when you're developing a web page, you may have an image and you may have a lot of text and you don't want the text to simply reside above or below the image, but you want the image to um, exist in the text and you want the text to wrap around it. That's kind of um, the kind of thing you see in a newspaper, typical newspaper type of look. Um, it's very easy to do. It just requires a couple little things, a little nudging, and uh, and you're off and running. So let's get at it. A couple of things we've got uh, here on my desktop is I've got our image file. Once again, there's a much, much, much better way to uh, approach this and to keep your um, website on your Windows desktop. But for demonstration purposes, I have my HTML file and I have my image file on my Windows desktop so they are essentially in the same folder. So let's uh, open up uh, our HTML file in a uh, browser and that file is blank right now, there's no content. Now we'll open uh, up that same file in our text editor so we can uh, get at the code. And here's our code. Once again, all content goes between the body tags. So we'll be doing all our work here in this lesson. Next thing we'll do is we'll implement a little bit of cheating. Uh, to save time, I've uh, created a little snippet of HTML um, that's going to uh, be our text. So I'll just get all this and I'll go here and I'll paste this all in here. And what we've got here very quickly is you've got a div tag with some um, some um, some Latin. Let's just kind of mock text and I've got some hard breaks here. We'll talk about the BR tag in another lesson but these just create hard returns for for a little bit of spacing. So um, we'll refresh the page and we'll see we've got our text here in the page. Nothing too fancy but we've got a bunch of text. So now we'll add our image file, and let's say that we wanted to add it um, kind of right in the middle of the, of the text. Let's say we want to do it right around uh, here, in the, somewhere in the middle of the, uh, of the text. So we'll create an image tag, and we'll say uh, source equals tower.jpg, I believe that's the name of the file. We'll go back to our browser refresh and there's our image file now this is exactly what we did not want the image is in line with the text which creates a, a not particularly sophisticated appearance where we've got the text and then as soon as the image tag is encountered it's the image is rendered and the text continues what we'd like to see is this picture maybe all the way over to one side and then all this text wraps around it Let's go back to the code, and what we need to do uh, to, in order to do that is we're going to create a div container, and we're going to give it a couple of attributes that uh, uh, achieve our objective for us. So we'll create an opening div tag, and we'll do an, a closing div tag here, and we'll use um, a style uh, attribute. We'll create a style attribute, and one of the parameters we'll pass it is the float attribute, and the value will be left. So we'll save that, we'll go back to our browser, and you'll see that now the image floats on the left side of the page and the text wraps around it. So we're getting a little bit closer to a kind of a newspaper-ish type of look where the image is fixed and the text moves around the image. What would be nice would be to create a little bit of space around the picture so that the text isn't all the way up against it. We'll do that by adding another parameter to our style, another um, uh, value to, uh, to, our, to our style parameter and um, our style attribute. So we'll put a, a semicolon in here to separate it. We'll add a new parameter and that's going to be um, margin. And we'll make this one uh, 12 points. Save our work. Go back here and refresh. Great. So what we have here now is the image is floating to the left side of the page. The text 
floats around the image and there's a little bit of space between the image and the text, a little bit of a margin. And we've done that just to recap simply by putting all the text in the page inside of a div tag. Nothing special there. We use some hard breaks just to create a little space between paragraphs. But the real magic happens here in this div container um, by creating a style attribute and passing it two values. Uh, float, and uh, that the value is left, and margin, the value is 12 points. And by saying float, we shove the image to the left and we make the text move around it. And by doing that, we've created this kind of newspaper effect that we wanted where the text flows around the image. And so that's pretty much it. How to make text wrap around an image in an HTML or web page.